I think you know, most uh, in the world, about the ones we've heard about today, AI, machine learning to be very specific, uh, vehicle to vehicle, you know, the innovations we see in the automotive industry, the fact that people are shifting from cloud first to cloud native to actually edge computing, and then on top of that, you know, cybersecurity, which is connecting all the dots. The thing is, all of them, you know, that's great, you know, the, uh, the touch points between what we heard today in terms of trends, mega trends, you know, what people see now, but also in the future, is uh, all the things we call, and the shift from, you know, cyber security focusing on threat only to actually focusing on humans and behavior is actually where we play. I think you know, we're very much aligned, you know, telling the leaders we've seen here, you know, CIOs, CTOs from you know, large enterprises, how we can help you know, secure their environment. It's not just about privacy and GDPR, which is the topic of the moment, is how do we enable your business with solutions like the, the first point, dynamic data protection, where we're actually putting trust into employees and see them, you know, adding value and actually not stopping them from do more, do work. We want to make sure we, we help them shifting from, you know, this threat defense to actually enabling employees and business processes. I think the one you know I, I was really kind of looking forward to is you know related to the Facebook you know scandal obviously you know given my background in security been that for many years I think people realize that you know there's value in data and that data has been abused for very long so I think you know having uh, him come up as the whistleblower for Cambridge Analytica and what that means for the industry you know and I hope people's perception has changed you know uh, when it comes to data is very key and and also you know I've been in this industry for like what 20 years now and you realize that it's not just in the movies you know it keeps happening in the background behind the scenes. You know, bad OPSEC is kind of failing, you know, OPSEC being operational security. And I think, you know, also yesterday we've heard a lot about French tech. You know, you know fourth point is that we, we call it like a 2,700 know, 2, people startup, you know, and it's actually great to be able to connect this French tech community we, we have about here and, you know, what fourth point is doing in reventing your know, cyber security. I think, it's, I think you mentioned it already, it's kind of the velocity and the pace of change. You know, things evolve so fast that you know, we are actually in the core, in the center of it. We see it happening. You know, many other people have a hard time even understanding what's happening and kind of how the world is evolving around them. So we want to make sure that we enable them to react faster. And not just, you know, as, as I said in my, in my kind of, you know, keynote on the innovation stages, not just in the enterprise space, but also how they can take this home and actually secure their private life. And that is key to me.